Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am back. Today is August the 5th, 2022. We are going to talk about Solana today. This is going to be a real quick video because uh, I want to show you something regarding how you can tell whether or not the news is impacting the price of certain instruments. And this is one keen example as to how you don't want to follow information that you're getting on social media or, you know, major media uh, mass platforms because it doesn't reflect on the price chart. Now, before I talk about all of this, welcome to everyone who is new to my channel. This is HFN, also known as UFN News. Let me go ahead and give you all the plug real quick. If you all want the real, if you all want to understand how to know where prices are likely to go without being confused, I need you all to join me right now. Hit the like button. Should have been also subscribed to the channel. Tap the bell notification as well so that you'll stay in tune with what I'm seeing on the price chart relating to cryptocurrencies. All right. Now, let's get back to what I was saying. If people believe what was going on or what was being said, what were someone others, um, excuse me, what were other people's opinion about a certain instrument that's being exchanged on cryptocurrency platforms, it should be reflected on the price chart. And I've been on this platform on YouTube since like 2017, and I've been doing price predictions ever since. And every video that I've conducted has simply been what the market is reflecting on the price chart, nothing out the norm. I don't care about what someone else is thinking about a particular cryptocurrency. I don't care about what a new protocol is about to do, a hard fork, a soft fork, anything of that nature. Because ultimately, what people do with their own money dictates where price is going to go. So if people believe in a certain type of information, it will be reflected or seen on the price chart. So, for instance, you guys can see that recently. Solana Wallace got hacked, right? This was an article right here from the Washington Post. A pair of hacks rattle an already jittery cryptocurrency, right? And you guys can see that it's reflecting and talking about Solana and Nomad, right? And the market overall did not move in that particular round. Here's another article, Coindesk. Solana Wallace targeted in latest multi-million dollar hack. Over 8,000 internet connected hot wallets have been compromised so far, but the source of the attack remains unknown. See, they're trying to spin some negative views on Solana. They're trying to pinpoint and make sure that this is type negative to try to get some other individuals to sell their Solana. Now, when you come and look at the price chart, though, for Solana, you can tell that the blockchain did not have any impact. You can see how even though the Solana wallets were hacked, the blockchain wasn't. The blockchain did not get affected by this. Now, it happened two days ago, and I wanted to show you all that the volume here in Solana right here. You guys can see that that information actually pushed some individuals to sell out their Solana because the volume definitely came through in Solana. Now, I wanted to show you that my original idea of looking for Solana is for it to go up in price. And I wanted to show you that even though we saw a whole lot of volume in Solana two days ago, the market in Solana is still trending higher. So it tells you that the information that the news media try to come out with that people tweeted about didn't have any impact on the overall blockchain in Solana. But to the people who sold two days ago, now they're looking at the market move in Solana going higher today and they're like, well, why did I sell? See, that's one thing I wanted to show everyone is that don't follow the information unless it coincides with the price. If this was truly detrimental to Solana, the market in two days would not be trending higher. The market right now would not be up 4% if it was truly negative. But obviously the market is telling us that even though the Solana hot wallets were hacked, they don't care, they could care less about it because it did not impact the blockchain. It did not hurt the instrument itself, the cryptocurrency itself, Solana. It didn't hurt it at all. So what that tells me is that what I talked about two days ago when I did my video, my price prediction is still valid. So I'm not even worried about what occurred in Solana Hot Wallets or the Solana Wallets or the Nomad because the price is telling me that the market is cool. They're fine with this, with the information that was just released on these platforms. That's it. 
So I'm still going to continue to move forward with my original idea that Solana is going to continue to trend higher. Now, those who are new, I always give everyone the opportunity to drop a price prediction, a price target for my videos. So the comment section is open right now. You guys can go ahead and tell me where do you think the price in Solana is headed? You guys can see what I talked about, uh, what my idea is in terms of where Solana is going to go. If you haven't seen that whole video, you guys can go back and listen to it right now. It was on the 3rd of August, so two days ago. All right. That's it. I just want to give you all an example as to how you always want to focus on the price. Focus in on what the market is doing and not what people think or not what they report. This is where the news is. The price chart It's where it's at. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.